And now a quick word from our sponsors here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hey, yo, bring the fire all summer long with the Big Three and your homeboy Ice Cube. Starting July 10th on CBS, Driller, and Fight TV. That's right, every Saturday, bring the fire with the Big Three, baby. And here from Viral Hip Hop News, letting my people know to go grab this bottle of miracle food right now. Shopadopter.org put together some of the best ingredients on God's green earth to help your immune system, give you a cleanse and reboot that your body deserves. Don't wait for your miracle. Grab it in miracle food right now. Let's go. A Tom the Hill may be the final installment of the Lazarberry clan being recognized as a powerful force amongst the free world. Grab the House of Lazenberry at Times to Hill in the description box right now. Who, who won the battle? Yeah, we was kind of different then, man. Like, I, <laughs> no. I, I want to say who won, but I, you know, you, you, you get a pretty a good idea, man. Ah, oh, man. Good idea, man. That's dope. Let me ask you this. We uh we had DeHaven on a couple months, not probably a year ago now. Shit, he had Marcy May when he was dropping that. Shout out to DeHaven. Were you cool with DeHaven and did you know DeHaven? Yeah, me, me, me and Gil is cool. You know, we, we play basketball as you know, as kids and teenagers and you know, young adults. You know, but I know I know Gil very well. All right. Now I'll kind of fast forward in some, but obviously he had his issues with Jay-Z. He brought out Marcy May. We all heard fuck the haven for caving. That's why we don't speak. Man, man, he's supposed to make. We heard the, the very the verses and all that. What do you think about that situation? Is he justified in his gripe toward Jay Z? I would think so. I don't. I, you know, I I have a friend that's very close to the haven, and he, you know, he's a close friend of mine, and he was uh very abreast of the case, and you know. Gil ain't no snitch. Or so, you know, he has every right to feel how he feels. And plus, you know, they had a they were brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I can understand how he felt betrayed a little bit for sure. Or, right now, let's talk about Rockefeller too, because you, you were also saying that you knew from the jump that Rockefeller wasn't gonna last, and you kind of like cited that Jay Z's very ambitious. And, you know, once he, you know, accomplishes something, he wants to accomplish something different. So in that situation, was it the same type of thing, do you think? that you were just kind of moving on to bigger and better things? Or do you feel like it was kind of like betrayal? Well, I, you know, I was going early from, from there, you know what I mean? But for my, my, my brief time there, you know, you're going to grow in business. Mm -hmm. and you're going to grow. And you know the same things that work in the beginning don't work in the end. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. you know, and Dame is a powerful personality himself, but they were kind of like opposite. You know what I'm saying? Jay was more reserved. Dame was more outgoing, and you know, you could just see that eventually that was gonna that wasn't gonna end well. So take so take us now. All right, so go to let's go to ninety nine now. You know, um, obviously you rap with Jay Z. You do you do Reservoir Dogs and all that, but um, then you put your project out. So let us let's start. You know, from Reservoir Dogs and move forward to put Middle Finger You out. Well, um, Middle Finger You was about two years. Was pushed back about two years, okay, because of uh, internal situations with the label and you know outside interference so it didn't really have the success that it was slated to have um but uh i think um reservoir was probably the last the last of the greatest ciphers mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like where you like where you have like six I think it was six people on there. Uh, yeah. You know, at any given moment, any one of them could, could take the top apple on the verse. Yeah. And there was no clear, there was no clear distinction of who was the best, you know? So it was just whoever had the best day that day. And, you know, everybody got their favorites, but uh, I think it was a great record. Was y'all in the studio together for that? Or was that, um, um separately? 
I don't I don't think so. I wasn't anyway. I came, I was kind of like next to the last person to finish the verse. You know, so I but I wasn't in the studio. No. And you got a chance to hit ha hit ha shit hit ha hit bars is back. Hit ha Sam and ha oh god ha what's up with you? I done watch them niggas do interview after interview They not culture vultures, the culture something they been into So if you never gave them a view, I recommend you do Cause when they question guests, they message is not subliminal It don't matter if you a rookie